Gold Squad TV. Celtics win 88-87 barely um, to defeat the Sixers at home. Jason Tatum had 26 points, 9 of 20 shooting, 16 rebounds. Um, the shooting percentages still are kind of iffy, but he actually played damn well today. Uh, the rebounding was like, yeah, that's that's great. I don't even care about assists like that for him. You get like the rebounds are like at 16, 17. That's a bonus, you know, coming from him. Um, Jalen Brown still coming back from his um from the the hamstring. Not very sharp today. Nine point three of eleven shooting, one of four for three, four rebounds, three assists. But played very well on the defensive end. Marcus Smart, same thing. Not a good shooting night. Two of seven, one of three from um three, eight rebounds and six assists. Sacrifice, man. You know, Josh Richardson had seven points. Dennis Schroeder had thirteen on four twelve shooting. Took a really bad shot towards the end of the game, but it didn't cost him. Too much hero ball from him, man. Um, a good player, but like I said, I don't think he fits the long term for us. You know, and um, Grant Williams had three points. Um, Al Horford had ten points, eight rebounds, one, um, one assist. This man, for even though he's aging, he played. He had a chip on his shoulder for this game. He he pretty much defended Tobias Harris. Very well made him make the pass to Yang at the end where Time Lord got the block. Today was Time Lord's first game back since the flu. Had 10, re 10 points, 4 rebounds. That block was key, man. That block was key. You know, that block was super key. And um, we needed it. Um, for the Sixers, man, you know, I want to look up their stat line real quick. Because, you know, they're going to be a tough team to beat. Even without Ben Simmons, they're still a tough team to beat. They play us tough every year. Seth Curry led the way with 17 points, 6 assists. And Bede had a off game, 13 points, 18 rebounds, 6 assists, but on 3 of 17 shooting. I mean, he got to the line a little more than I I would like. But, you know, obviously, he's Joel Embiid. Um, Max, he has 6 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist. Drummond had 4 points off the bench. Tobias, man, they, I told you that dude was overpaid. Tobias Harris had eight points, six rebounds. They're paying $181 million for this dude. Like, everybody talking about Ben Simmons, and yes, Ben Simmons, rightfully so, deserves the criticism, but Tobias Harris is trash. I am sorry. J. Cole, a.k.a. Tobias Harris, is trash. He is a journeyman offensive scorer for a reason. He's too streaky. Yes, he's had his best years with Doc going back to the Clipper days, but you cannot rely on him to be your second option or your third option for that matter. You know, I have a feeling with, with, with Philly, what's going to happen to them, unfortunately, unless Maxi starts becoming like an all-star, it's looking like Embiid is going to end up probably riding out towards the end. By the time they start winning, Embiid's going to be old. And when I say old, I don't mean age, but like injury-wise for a big guy, he's going to be a little bit towards the end of that career there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like Ben not being there. They haven't traded him yet. They're being very stubborn on that price. You know, Seth Curry can't be the second best player on a championship team. Love Seth. Um, love what he co does contribute. I wish he was on our team. But if you're, if, you're, if you're Philly, you can't have this guy be your second best player. You know, Tobias Harris is highly overrated. And Philly needs to think about letting him go or trading him. That that contract is horrible. Go to Squad TV. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe. Like. Let me know what you guys think. Celtics win 88-87. Peace.